What's going on, guys? I got Coach Kevin here, and I got my beautiful, lovely wife. We got Liz over here. Um, today is a rainy day here in California, so we're going to be asking Liz a few questions that we have on the menu for today. So first question is, what is the number one exercise for growing glutes, a.k.a. that bootay? Uh, that's a great question. So the number one extra, well, there really is no number one exercise. Um, there's a couple exercise that I personally would recommend. Um, number one is hip thrust. Hip thrust is really, really good for growing your glutes. Um, number two, I will say Bulgarian split lunges is number two. And then number three is a Romanian deadlift. Um, yes, there's other isolated exercises that you can be doing, um, such as kickbacks and all that. But what I've learned is, and what I'm continuing to learn is, yes, those exercises are great, but you do need to push yourself with the weight, which is something that I'm working on myself personally, and making sure that you are doing those exercises at least two to three times a week. If you're only doing it once a week and you're trying to grow that muscle group, it's probably going to take some time. So I'll say at least two to three times a week, pick those three exercises or so, and then um, push stronger in those exercises. Nice. Awesome. Good. And so you women know there, those three exercises, um, really good exercise for all those. Next question is, should women work out while on their period? You know, it's that time of the month. Um, I've seen a lot of clients, they talk about it. They don't normally talk to me about it. I can, I can understand why, uh, but I know they've talking to you about it. So what are your thoughts on that? Um, I would say yes. Um, I still work out when I'm on my period and I get really, really bad cramps. So it's com uh, at least for me, it's common to get bad cramps. I know a lot of our clients do get bad cramps. So yes, I, I would still recommend to still work out. Maybe don't go as intense or push as hard as you usually would. I mean, if you can, by all means, but I'll say still show up. Um, working out actually does help with the cramps is what I found out for myself. All right. Awesome. So when I have uh, my period, uh, I'll make sure to be going to the gym too as well. Okay. And then last and final question. Um, so a little bit longer question. It is a two part question. So it is, what is your fitness goal for 2023? We have about less than a month left here in December, a few weeks left up until the new year. Um, so what is your fitness goal for 2023? Second part is, and any piece of advice you can give out to those trying to figure out on how to set up a fitness goal for this upcoming year so they don't fall, so they don't fail. Like if they've been doing this for year after year and they keep failing, what is one suggestion, suggestion that you would give to them? Okay. So my fitness goal for 2023, um, I think it's a two part question, at least for me. Um, I mean, two part answer for that question. Um, I'll say that for the first six months or so, my fitness goal will be to get a little bit leaner since, um, we have a lot of weddings to go to next year. Um, like going to Mexico and then I'm one of the bridesmaids for another, for one of my friends weddings. So, uh, for me, at least for the first six months, January, all the way to June or so it'll be more to get leaner. After that, from July moving forward, I would say it would be more to build more muscle overall, whether in my back and my legs, everything. Um, that, that would be my second part fitness goal um, for the rest of the year. So first, first six months, get lean. The second part will be more to grow. Um, and your, and your question about how to set up your fitness goals, was that what it was? Yeah. No, it was your piece of advice that you would give out to those who are setting out to set up a fitness goal for 2023, um, but they don't want to keep falling into the same routine of setting up a goal and setting up for failure. What would you say? I would say, number one, write down your goal. Don't just say, I want to be fit. Be very specific on your fitness goal. So if your goal is to, I don't know, lose 10 pounds, write down my goal is to lose 10 pounds. After that, you got to work backwards and see what you have to do every single day to achieve that. So every day when you wake, wake up, say my goal is to lose 10 pounds. My action for today is to go to the gym and to eat this amount of food. So it's constantly telling yourself what you have to do that day. And at the end of the day, remind, check in with yourself and see if you did what you told yourself to do. Um, this is why a lot of people or we have found have coaches or someone to hold them accountable because they need that check-in. So if you're not, if you don't have a coach or trainer or whatever it is, and you're doing it yourself, I would say be very specific on your fitness goal and then see what you have to do every single day 
to get closer to your goal, assess at the end of the day if you're if you achieve what you told yourself what you're going to do, the end of the week, did you achieve what you said you're going to do and also for the the end of the month, are you closer or further away than your your goal that you set up for yourself. And if you have a trainer or coach already, communicate what the goal is and make sure that, you know, hopefully they're great trainers and they'll be holding you accountable to that goal. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, I think that's really, really important, especially finding someone that's going to keep you accountable. And number one is them keeping you accountable, but them being honest with you. You don't want someone that's going to tell you what you want to hear because, again, number one, that, that person is not being truthful to you. Um, and you want someone to call you out, excuse my French, call you out on your shit, um, because it's only going to make you a better person. It's only going to, they're only doing it for the best of your interest, not the best of their their own interest, if that makes sense. But yeah, those are the three questions. So uh, awesome meeting with you again today, Liz, you know, you know, we, uh, <laughs> we live together, rainy day, but might as well answer some questions for you guys. So have a good one, guys. On to the next.